Jos Verstappen, father of superstar driver Max Verstappen, has dropped a bombshell threat that could spell disaster for Red Bull team principal Christian Horner. With tensions mounting and rumours swirling, Verstappen's unexpected move has jeopardised Horner's job. The Formula One community is buzzing with speculation about Red Bull Racing's future. So, let's dive into this video today to uncover the shocking details behind Jos Verstappen's threat and its potential impact on Christian Horner's career. Here we begin. After a hectic 10 days since Horner was cleared of any wrongdoing toward a female colleague, things have worsened. Tensions have escalated between the 50-year-old and Max Verstappen's father, Jos, who accused Horner of causing chaos within the team. There are also allegations of a power struggle at the top of the energy drink company with its headquarters in Austria and a majority shareholder from Thailand. Amidst the turmoil, Horner seems to have had enough of Verstappen's father's bold claims. Meanwhile, Mercedes boss Toto Wolff expressed eagerness to have the three-time world champion join his team, even going as far as saying he'd do handstands to make it happen as a replacement for Lewis Hamilton next season. Jos Verstappen is deeply concerned about the future of Red Bull if Christian Horner remains as team principal and CEO. These concerns arose after Horner was cleared of inappropriate behavior following an investigation by Red Bull's parent company. However, just as things seemed settled, purported WhatsApp messages and pictures allegedly involving Horner and the complainant were leaked. FIA President Mohammed Ben Sulayem and F1 CEO Stefano Domenicali discussed the matter, and Horner appeared at the paddock with his wife, Jerry, trying to show unity. Specialists have examined the leaked email to verify its authenticity. Despite these efforts, Jos Verstappen, the father of race winner Max Verstappen, is adamant about his desire for Horner to step down from his position. Jos Verstappen expressed his concerns to the Daily Mail, stating, There is tension here while he remains in position. The team is in danger of being torn apart. It can't go on the way it is. It will explode. He is playing the victim when he is the one causing the problems. Verstappen firmly denied it when asked if he could be behind the leak to undermine Horner, saying, That wouldn't make sense. Why would I do that when Max is doing so well here? Meanwhile, Horner faced questions about the allegations during his post-race media briefing. The session became heated, with Red Bull's head of communications Paul Smith intervening to prevent questions about the authenticity of the alleged WhatsApp messages. Horner spoke about Verstappen's victory in the Saudi GP. He mentioned, you can't force somebody to be somewhere just because of a piece of paper. This means that just having a contract doesn't mean someone will want to stay. He emphasized that they won't force them to stay if someone doesn't want to be part of the team. This applies to everyone in the team, not just drivers, but also those in support roles. He didn't want to speculate on the reasons behind someone's decisions. He said, I'm not going to comment on what motives whatever person may have for doing this. Instead, he's focused on his team, his family, and racing. He expressed gratitude for the support he receives from his family and team. Horner's main focus is on racing and winning. He stated, my focus is on racing and winning races and doing the best I can. Also, he addressed the unpleasant attention he's received recently, saying, obviously it has not been pleasant with some of the unwanted attention. Despite this, he emphasized that the main focus remains on the cars and the racing. He added, my focus has been on what is happening on track, and the result today demonstrates where the focus is. Regarding a previous issue, Horner mentioned, there was a full lengthy internal process that was completed by an independent KC, and the grievance that was raised was dismissed. End of. Move on. This indicates that an internal investigation concluded the matter and he wants to leave it behind. Looking ahead, Horner acknowledged that he will be back in the spotlight soon as the cars will hit the track for practice in Saudi Arabia in just four days. Why Red Bull Austria cannot sack Horner Oliver Mintzlaff, who took over from Mateschitz, wants to remove Horner from his position. However, he can't decide alone because he only owns 49% of the company. He needs the approval of the Thai owner, Chalam Uvidya. But Uvidya doesn't want to change anything. He considers Horner like his own son and insists on keeping him in charge, 
despite the issues. This situation is causing frustration in Austria. They have to watch helplessly as Horner remains in his role, even though they would rather see him replaced. According to reports from a German source, Red Bull Austria feels Horner is out of touch with reality. They say, he no longer has both feet on this earth. Due to cultural differences, Ralf Schumacher suggests that the Thai owner might have a different perspective. Unfortunately, Western ideas of fairness and equality aren't the same in Thailand. The role of women, for example, is viewed very differently there. Verstappen leaving Red Bull Last week, Verstappen talked about his future with the team, saying it's connected to Helmut Marko. Marko saw Verstappen's talent when he was young and brought him into Red Bull's junior program. Verstappen said, I am loyal to Helmut. He is a big part of my decision-making, and he must stay with the team and everyone else. Verstappen believes it's crucial to keep the team together. He thinks if someone important leaves, it could harm his career. He said, so for me, Helmut has to stay. He helped build this team from the beginning with Dietrich Mateschitz. Marco, who is 80 years old, is known for spotting talent in Formula One. He's been a key figure in Red Bull's success, even though he often makes controversial statements. Verstappen, who is 26, is committed to Red Bull until 2028. He doesn't plan to race into his late 30s. Initially, Red Bull's boss, Christian Horner, insisted that Verstappen would stay with the team until his contract ended. However, he seems to have changed his stance recently, which is quite interesting. After the Saudi Arabian Grand Prix, Horner commented on Max Verstappen's desirability, saying, I'm sure every team in the paddock would love to have Max. He also noted that, like Toto Wolff from Mercedes said, the best drivers always aim for the best cars. Despite rumors of tension between Horner and the verstappen marco partnership, Horner insisted that his relationship with Max is absolutely fine. He compared it to situations in life, saying, you can't force somebody to be somewhere just because of a piece of paper. He emphasized that if someone doesn't want to be part of the team, they won't be forced to stay, regardless of their role. Despite the commotion over the weekend, Horner emphasized that the bond with Verstappen remains strong. He acknowledged that even though the driver seems to be aligned with a different side within the team, their relationship endures. Horner also mentioned, He's working well within the team. There's no tension, there's no stress. You can see how relaxed he is around the garage with everybody on the team, which also translates to his performance on the track. So we don't see any issues with Max. I'm aware of all that noise, but it hasn't distracted the team from the job, and we are one team now. Horner hesitated when asked if he's sure Verstappen will stay until his contract ends in 2028. He said, you can never say never. If drivers don't want to be somewhere, they'll go somewhere else. He compared it to life, emphasizing that they won't force anyone to stay just because of a contract. He reiterated, if somebody didn't want to be on this team, then we're not going to force somebody against their will to be here. And that applies whether it's a machine operator or a designer or somebody in one of the support functions that runs through the business. As a team, I can't see any reason why anybody would want to step out of this team. The drama off the racetrack at Red Bull has sparked discussions about Verstappen potentially switching to Mercedes next year to fill Lewis Hamilton's seat after he moves to Ferrari. Red Bull's motorsport director Helmut Marko faced scrutiny on Friday for allegedly leaking investigation-related information and was at risk of suspension. Verstappen quickly defended Marko, stating that if the 80-year-old was removed, he might consider leaving the team. Marco later met with Red Bull GmbH CEO Oliver Mintzlaff and claimed the issue was resolved. However, this exposed a divide within the team. Verstappen's father, Jos, criticized team principal Horner, suggesting he should step down. In response, Horner emphasized team unity, saying, We are a team, and no single individual is bigger than the team, suggesting he wasn't swayed by Verstappen's threat to leave. Horner has urged to end the controversy, but the weekend events revealed ongoing tensions within the team. So what do you think of the entire situation in Red Bull threatening Horner's job? Comment below and subscribe for more.